Hi everyone, in this lecture, I will introduce X-ray tube. X-ray tube is just a device that converts electrical energy into X-ray radiation and heat. Well, most of it is converted into heat. However, heat is undesirable when it comes to X-ray production. Thus, the X-ray system uh, is designed and constructed to maximize X-ray production while dissipating heat effectively. In this short lecture, I will introduce the design and construction of X-ray tubes important in X-ray production. Here are the basic elements of an X-ray source assembly. First, X-ray tube insert. It mainly contains the electron source, the cathode filament, and the anode target together with the evacuated glass, which is the envelope. Second, we have the tube housing. It provides radiation shielding and cools off the X-ray tube insert. Third is the X-ray generator, which mainly supplies the voltage for those electrons that we need to accelerate. Fourth, we have the X-ray beam filter. It's located at the tube uh, port and mainly shapes the X-ray beam uh, spectrum by removing those lower parts of the spectrum not useful in imaging. It can be inherent or added filtration. Examples of added filtration are aluminum and rhodium for mammography. Last is collimators, which defines the size and the shape of our X-ray field. The two most important elements of an X-ray tube are the following, a cathode and an anode. As the electrical current flows through the tube from the cathode to anode, the electrons undergo an energy loss as it interacts with the orbital electrons and the nucleus of the target anode commonly made out of tungsten for radiography, which results in the generation of X-rays uh, through Bremsstrahlung or characteristic X-ray. This is a cross-sectional view of a typical X-ray tube wherein the envelope is made out of glass and this whole picture here is the tube insert. Anode is connected to the positive side of the circuit and it has mainly two functions. First is the conversion of electrical energy into X-rays. and Second is the dissipation of heat produced. It can be static but in most cases it is rotating as shown here with the rotor. Efficiency of X-ray production depends on two things. First is the atomic number Z of the anode and second is the energy of the incoming electrons. Tungsten is commonly used uh, for our, our anode material due to its high atomic number Z is equal to 74 high melting point, and relatively low rate of evaporation. On the other hand, mammography, uh, we have molybdenum, Z is equal to 42, or rhodium, Z is equal to 45, as the anode material. We do not use the whole anode in producing X-rays. Radiation is produced in a small area on the anode known as the focal spot. And it is determined by the dimensions of the electron beam from the cathode. It usually range from 0.1 mm to 2 mm. It can be classified as small or large focal spots as described here. And it depends to the imaging procedure. For example, uh, in mammography, let's say, uh, where we have small and thin body regions, we can use small focal spots. Cathode is consists of small coil of wire, a filament, produced in a cup-shaped region, and this is a voltage-biased focusing cup, mainly to focus the electrons uh, that is uh, released by our cathode. The main function is to release electrons to thermionic emission and focus it on the anode. The filament is heated by passing current through it in terms of milliamperes of or MA of the tube. The anode and cathode are contained in an airtight enclosure called the envelope, and the envelope and its contents are often referred as a tube housing. 